In this video, we are going to discuss about various regulation works in hydraulic structures, canal falls and canal regulators. This presentation is prepared by Anis K. Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, MEA, Engineering, College, Parenthal Mana. Any structure constructed to regulate the discharge, full supply level, or flow velocity in a canal, is known as a regulation work. These structures are necessary for the efficient working and safety of an irrigation channel. The various regulation works may be classified as canal fall, head regulator, cross regulator, canal escape, canal outlet. A canal fall is an irrigation structure constructed across a canal to lower down its water level and destroy the surplus energy liberated from the falling water which may otherwise scour the bed and banks of the canal. If the natural ground slope is steep, then the designed bed slope of the channel. The difference is adjusted by constructing vertical falls or drops in the canal beds at suitable intervals, as shown in the figure. A drop in the canal bed will not be stable. In order to retain this drop, a masonry structure is constructed. Such a structure is called a canal fall or canal drop. Canal falls are provided to serve the following functions. To lower down water level. To dissipate energy. It is provided, when ground slope is undulating. When the ground slope is steep, and. In siphon aqueduct type cross drainage works, as shown here in the figure. Next we are discussing about the classification of canal falls. Class 1 is falls maintaining constant depth to discharge relationships. Example is trapezoidal notch fall. Class 2 is falls designed to maintain fixed water level in the channel upstream. They are provided in an off-taking canal for power generation. Class 3 is canal falls used to admit the variation of water level in channel upstream. Class 4 is miscellaneous type of fall. Examples are cylinder fall or well fall, chute fall, pipe fall. Here we can see different types of canal falls. OG fall. Rapid fall, step fall, vertical drop fall. Now we are coming to glassy fall, trapezoidal notch fall, English type fall, well or cylinder fall, Montague type fall. Next, we are going to discuss about canal regulators, the cross regulator and distributary head regulator. At first, let us discuss about cross regulator. A cross regulator is provided on the parent channel, at the downstream of the off-taking canal, to head up the water level and to enable the off-taking channel to draw the required supply, or to head up water in the parent channel, to divert some of it through an off-take channel, like a distributary. Functions of cross regulator are usually a bridges on the cross regulator, which provides a means of communication. During the periods of low discharge, the cross regulator raises water level on the upstream so that the off-taking channel can takes its full supply. Cross regulator helps in closing the supply to the downstream of the parent channel for the purpose of repairs. Cross regulator is used to control the drawdown when the subsoil water levels are high to ensure safety of canal lining. Next we are discussing about a distributary head regulator. It is provided at the head of the off-taking channel to control the supplies entering the off-taking canal or distributary. Figure shows a typical head regulator. Functions of distributary head regulator are They regulate or control the supply of water to the off-taking channel from the parent channel. They control the entry of silt in the off-taking channel. They serve as meter for measuring the discharge entering into the off-taking canal. They help in shutting off the supplies when not needed in the off-taking channel is required to be closed for repairs. And finally we are going to regulator come road bridge, it is the type of structure in which, transportation facility in the form of road bridge is provided along with the arrangements for regulation of flow. Movable shutters are provided to regulate the flow. Shutters may be controlled either manually or mechanically. 
road bridges provided in combination with the regulation arrangements as a single structure.